Hello guys, uh, welcome to Big Book. Today we are going to discuss about Molish test. It's the general test of all carbohydrates. It's a qualitative test where we are going to study only to identify the presence of the compound. The principle of the Molish test is where the concentrated sulfuric acid is used to hydrolyze the glycosidic bonds of the carbohydrates that is the monosaccharides where the carbohydrate dehydrates in presence of this acid to form furfural and its derivatives so furfural is the uh, aldehyde compound and uh, thus the formed furfural derivatives react with sulfonated alpha naphthol to give a purple complex so here whatever the derivative formed because of the reaction of the sulfuric acid with the monosaccharide or the carbohydrate that derivative is going to react with the alpha naphthol sulfonated of the alpha naphthol to give a purple complex so the formation of the purple complex is the result of the presence of the carbohydrate compound in the sample so the polysaccharides and glycoproteins also give a positive reaction so the polysaccharides are also going to give the result of the purple complex because of the reaction of the sulfuric acid with them and uh, by adding the alpha naphthol to that sample so this is the principle next is the this is the picture depicting the principle here you can see pentose and hexose both has been depicted where the addition of the h2so4 has been shown where the removal of the three water molecules from the pentose has been taken place so the further is the formation of the furfural is taking place so here this that furfural is again can be called to be as the 5 hydroxy methyl furfural depending upon whatever the additional compound is present in hexose it is showing the 5 hydroxy methyl furfural in the pentose it is showing only the furfural you can see that the both the furfurals it can be in the pentose and it can be in the hexose are having the CHO groups C double bond O and single bond H and the C double bond O and single bond H that is the CHO group so these furfural derivatives are the aldehyde compounds so further the presence of the alpha naphthol is going to give the purple ring that is purple ring or the whole compound or the whole sample is going to turn to the purple color so further we will discuss this this particular picture is depicting the principle itself so next is the note when h2so4 is dissolved in water it dissociates to produce ions the h plus ions react with the water molecules to form the hydrogen ions so hydronium ion h3o plus is going to form the hydrogen ions here it is the hydronium ions that is the h3o plus the dissociation takes place as in follows that is h2so4 is added in the water gives the h3o plus and hso4 minus so hso4 minus again dissociate to form h3o plus so4 2 minus so this is how the h2so4 is going to dissociate and it is going to give the h3o plus ions so here this water molecules again it is derived from the whatever the monosaccharides or the hexose pentose are present or in, in, in whichever the carbohydrates the h2so4 has been added so one more note is alpha naphthol solution is always unstable and should be prepared fresh every time drop the concentrated sulfuric acid 
when you are doing the procedure you have to drop the concentrated sulfuric acid by the sides of the test tube you never you have to use the sulfuric acid in any of the experiment let it be you never have to use the sulfuric acid directly getting into the contact of the reactants in the mass or in, it can be in the drops also so it is going to create the or it is going to spit out again back to the uh, from the container so it can fall on any part of your body so this is how you are to going to add the sulfuric acid and also by the one more added point is that adding the sulfuric acid along the sides of the test tube gives the very good results in this test so here in the next slide this shows the picture depicting the principle principle is again here that is the adding of the sulfuric acid to the hexose here it is the glucose so it is the hexose so here and when you have added the sulfuric acid to this in this you can see at the uh, towards the arrow within the upper our depiction before to the formation of 5 hydroxy methyl furfural here h3o plus has been shown so minus of 3 h2o that is the 3 h2o molecules has been used and there the h3o plus has been given again in the next reaction in the below reaction or the di structure chemical structure you can see that 5 hydroxy methyl furfural is going to react with the alpha naphthol so here h3o plus has been shown and the single water molecule has been removed and again the two naphthol molecules are going to get added so here the structure you can see that the 5 hydroxy methyl furfural is going to show the two naphtha molecules added so here the purple colored dye is going to form so you can understand how this particular procedure so a reaction is going to takes place next is procedure here we are going to take 1 to 2 ml of the test solution in a test tube after that we are going to add 2 to 3 drops of naphthol to the test solution here you can see that in the principle we discussed that first we discussed that the sample is going to react that is the whatever the carbonated sample is going to react with the sulfuric acid then we understood that the uh, uh, naphthol is going to react with the uh, whatever the derivative has been formed so but here in the procedure we do some little change because to get the results because once we are going to add the sulfuric acid and again we are going to add the naphthol getting the results is not so good so here what we are going to do we are going to add the alpha naphthol to the sample early itself then we are going to gently shake the mixture that is whatever the sample we have taken and whatever the alpha naphthol we have taken that we are going to gently shake and we are going to further add the concentrated h2so4 along the sides of the test tube as the h2so4 comes in the contact with the whatever the mixture has is already present in the test tube it is going to give the purple color ring at the junction junction in the sense here whatever the sulfuric acid getting touch with the mixture which is already present in the test tube the at that junction point at that mixing point the purple color is going to appear so you can observe in this picture that is one is uh, the controller that is the left side test tube controller in the sense there the sample will not be present but deionized uh, water will be present in this also we are going to add the what you got both the alpha naphthol and also the sulfuric acid and the next test tube that is the right side test tube of the container 
in this or in this there will be the sample so controller is one to understand whether the reagents are working properly this uh, second sample is the one where we are going to get the results so here this is how we are going to understand so this shows that the that the, that is the presence of the purple color or the appearance of the color shows that the presence of the carbohydrates so this is the result of this test so here Molly's test is named against the botanist uh, who is a Austrian botanist Hans Molly's for the presence uh, he he has invented uh, the presence of the carbohydrates this is the test invented by the Molly's based on the dehydration of the carbohydrate by sulfuric acid or hydrochloric acid to produce an aldehyde so the alternative is the hydrochloric acid which uh, again which is the same principle as the sulfuric acid does so the hydronium ion formation and the naphthol interaction with the whatever the derivatives is formed usually alpha naphthol though other phenols such as resorcinol and thymol also give color products so I'll, not only the alpha naphthol is the reagents used to get the color but here we can also use the resorcinol also and thymol also give color products resulting in the red or purple colored compound so here it is also the same the here also the principle stands the same the reaction stands the same and the results are going to stand the same so we have already spoken that the qualitative test is to check only the compound present so qualitative this is the qualitative test where we are only checking whether the sample is having the carbohydrate or not but we are not we are not testing for the quantity or the amount of the carbohydrate is present in this sample so here this is the completion of this molly test thank you guys for tuning to the big book and uh, we request to tune frequently and uh, spread the message within your friend circle and also among the other students so that they also get benefited by our slides or the video logs which has been prepared for your betterment and also which is going to help us and also we are it is also going to encourage us to get the new slides at your service so thank you